going on my fellow geeklings it is scott anthony christie coming to you with a brand new video here on the Auburn phoenix youtube channel and today i am bringing back the rebooted pro wrestling chapter i say rebooted because of two reasons one that was one then but hey oh, i haven't done a video for this in a while so like i've really backtracked I, and i've got quite a lot of catching up to do so I think if I start from scratch, then... And it technically, it is a new chapter for me anyway. I was at Royal Imperial Wrestling in Port Talbot. There was just a number of factors which I thought, okay, maybe I need to look elsewhere. I am now with the brand new academy called All Style Wrestling. All Style Wrestling is an academy which is based in Swansea, which is fantastic. It's great for me to get to. So if you are interested in training yourself or you've always wanted to get into a ring and wrestle... Look up All Style Academy on Facebook and Twitter. I'll leave links in the description below. You won't regret it, guys. Honestly, it's so much fun. I want to talk about my personal progress. I am really happy where I'm going at the minute. I'm really happy with the fact I'm able to push myself. I'm able to challenge myself. And the fact is because at first I was really hesitant. Like, I'm still a bit hesitant now. And there are still some moves I struggle with. However, I'm just really pleased to see where I'm going at the moment. Because like, for example, I've only had three sessions at All Style because like I have been working and there's been a, another bunch of factors that have come into it, preventing me from starting a bit earlier compared to the other students. But for the three sessions I've been there, I am really, really happy. Just in those three sessions, like I'm starting to see a bit of an improvement and I'm asking for feedback all the time and like the feedback seems to be getting more positive like obviously it's constructive criticism in there as well because i'm just learning like and like that's the thing if we were perfect why would anyone go to training people would just be at wrestlemania straight away i put up this video where i was doing like a few sequences um like for drills doing a couple of moves and yeah i i look quite stiff like in terms of my body language like um i'm tensing my shoulders um because i, I notice i do it with these videos as well like, I scrunch my face up a lot because I'm overworking muscles. When I was bumping off the ropes, like, my shoulders just done that. And I don't know why. I didn't even realise I was doing that. Because I was constantly thinking about, like, little things and little details all the time, that's what was making me strain my body and I was becoming a lot more stiff. And that happens because, like, when you're new, you're overthinking, you're overtrying. Not, not overtrying, but, like, um, like, when you're overthinking, your brain goes into overdrive which makes you a bit more, like, sealed off. It's like, for example, when, like, say, now if you're trying to block something, sometimes you have the thing to push your elbows up. However, if you're doing that, you're just, like, having the person's weight, like, pushing against you, and it's going to do damage to them because, obviously, they're hitting the bone. That's why your trainer is there, to give you notes at the end. Because if you're just going for it, you're not worrying about it. And I was really happy with that. Like, things did go wrong, obviously, but I expect that. But like um, I said to my trainer at the end of the session, when like it was all said and done, I asked him, it's like, what was my um, hitting the ropes like? Was I um, stiff or was I thin? He just said, no, it was fine. Like, if there was a problem with it, I'd tell you. And that's what I'm really happy with. You have to trust your trainers a lot because like, if your trainer's not telling you what you're doing wrong, then there's something wrong. <laughs> like, you're never gonna learn. It's like, what what do they say? Um, practice makes perfect. I kind of agree with that, and I don't. Practice makes consistent. It's like, you can practice something. Like, say now if you're playing an instrument and you're playing a song. If you're practicing it constantly, you're going to be consistent at playing it that way. So you could be playing like a solo and you hit one wrong note. But because you've been practicing that way, you're always going to play the solo with that wrong note. And... That's the thing. It doesn't necessarily make it perfect. It just makes it consistent. So that is why I think it's like it's good to have people telling you constructive criticism. And I'm not taking things to heart anymore because like I think it's like if I get notes, I think of it as a good thing because people are actually observing me and they're taking the time to actually tell me how I can improve, which is great. Like and not just the trainer, like the trainees as well. Like they're all saying at points, it's like, okay, that was good. I think if you do this then you can improve next time. I really appreciate that. And that's what I really like about All Style Pro Wrestling Academy is the fact that everyone, like especially, especially the more experienced trainees, like they're always there to help you as well. Like when there was a sequence going on in the ring, 
and a lot of us were waiting on the outside one of the more experienced trainees said it's like gosh i um teach the some of the new people and some of the not so experienced ones with the lockups and the arm bars and stuff like that so technicalities which is really good and like i felt like i learned quite a lot doing that as well because like and it was things i'd gone over in the past but i felt going over them again it's great like covering the basics great for covering little things that i wasn't picking up on before and because like i said if i'm worrying about things i'm gonna be stepping in the wrong places gonna be doing the wrong uh, maneuvers but if i'm just going for it you got the trainers there to, to help you and guide you so that is what i'm really happy with now in terms of actual wrestling where do I want to be when this is all said and done? Like, do I just want to do it as a hobby? Do I want to do it just for fitness? Well, the ultimate goal for me, like, um, like I tend to think of it like one step at a time. Like, at the minute, I would love to be able to do a sequence of moves clean. Like, if I have to do, like, a bump drill or the international sequence drill, which is, like, the leapfrog and going down, I would love to be able to do that cleanly, nice and fluidly, nice and clean that is what i'd like to be able to do however the main objective like the ultimate objective for me is to get in a ring perform in front of a crowd and just have like a five minute match perform in front of a crowd whether it be a face or a heel bad guy good guy it doesn't matter i just want to get in a ring apply what i've learned and yeah obviously the, the first match won't be perfect it won't be a five star classic but at least I can say I've got in a ring and I've done it. I never would have pictured myself in a wrestling ring. I wouldn't have even pictured myself doing a drill. Like, but to see myself in 2017 as a 24 year old man training and doing all this stuff is just fantastic. It just makes me feel happy. It makes me think I'm doing something that I want to do, which I absolutely love. And I'm really grateful for all style pro wrestling academy for giving me the chance to train lately i've just been watching wrestling just constantly like every night before i go to bed i'm always watching like two or three matches like and i'm pinpointing little moments where i'm training and i'm thinking it's like okay so he's doing the leapfrog section there he's doing it well because he's putting his feet there and i'm saying i'm putting my feet in a different place so that's the thing it's like i'm observing i'm analyzing and i'm taking on mental notes which is it's like anything and this is like a school subject that I really, really like. And I think because I'm really passionate about it, I'm going to work towards it. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in to this new pro wrestling chapter with me, Scott Anthony Christie, the Auburn Phoenix. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to know. If there's anything you think you want to, if you want to train to be a wrestler yourself, or if you would like to train with All Style Academy, then check out the links below and get in touch with Jez Gardner because he's the guy who organizes everything. But like I said, guys, if you want to ask me anything, fire away. Until next time, I've been Scott Anthony Christie and you have been watching the Pro Wrestling Chapter. Take care, guys. Too sweet and I shall love you and leave you.